All right, I am here once again with the Rig CNC open source open builds mill. Um, I've been playing with it a bit. I have updated the what were plastic extrusions to aluminum now, uh, and it's proving to be kind of no surprise, but a lot more rigid. Um, so I'm starting to push the mill a little bit more and just get a better understanding of what its capabilities actually are. Um, so I thought I would do something that would take advantage of the R8 tooling. Um, so you can see in here, this is a five flute index uh, cutter. So th that's something, you know, you can't really put that in a router. Um, and I'm going to be using it here to do some phasing operations. So I've been doing a few phasing operations. It's a pretty conservative cut at the moment. Um, I've been experimenting with some more aggressive cuts on smaller end mills. Uh, but for right now, I'm just kind of try to show kind of what surface finishes are, uh, you know, achievable if you build something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and go on this job.
As you can see, I was just using some uh, tap magic, just, you know, cutting fluid. But, I mean, this is a really nice surface here. Let me try to grab something with some text. It's like you can see the the surface finish quality is pretty damn good. Um, I probably have a little bit more work to do with the tramming. There's a little bit. You can feel it with your fingernail, but maybe half a thousandth uh, or half a thou deviation, so I have a little bit of tramming to do. Um, but, I mean, this is pretty much right after I assembled it. You can see like there's pretty solid surface finish for a crappy hobby mill. Um, I'm certain your Haases and Tormax and insert other, you know, multi $10,000 mill can do a better job. I completely agree. Um, but, I mean, for 1500 bucks and, like, bolt together parts with no real access to a machine shop, um, I'd say this is pretty, pretty good considering what's on the market right now. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.